So if you've been following along so far, you may have noticed that we haven't talked about multiplying two vectors. And that's because there's a couple different ways to, to multiply vectors or to define a product of vectors. And one really interesting and useful one is called the dot product. So when you see this dot here, that indicates the dot product. And the way the dot product is defined is maybe somewhat surprising. The way that we do this is we do u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2 plus u3 times v3, so on and so on, all the way till we get to the end, un uh, plus un times vn. Um, why is that surprising? Why is that a surprising way to define a product of two vectors? Well, look at, look at the result. What kind of object is this? It's a number. These two things are numbers. When we multiply them, we just get a real number plus another real number all the way across. When we add all these up, that's just a single number. So you multiply two vectors and you just get a number out. So you don't even get a vector back when you multiply two vectors with a dot product. So this is sometimes called the scalar product for that reason, that the result is a scalar. It's a real number, a constant. Those are all different ways of saying the same thing. Um, so for slightly different notation and maybe a little bit more concise notation is we could use summation notation or sigma notation and um, just write this like this. So we sum up uh, all the components from 1 to n, the, the products of those components. Um, so if you're comfortable and familiar with sigma notation, this is one way to write it. Um, I personally actually prefer this way up here because it's a little bit more informative, I think. It's a little bit easier to see just right away without interpreting the sigma notation. Anyways, um, that's that. Uh, let's do an example. So if we have um, u is equal to 1, negative 2, and 5, and v is equal to 4, uh, 3, and 1. So what is this dot product? Well, we just do exactly what it says. 1 times 4 plus negative 2 times 3 plus 5 times 1. So we get 4 minus 6 plus 5. Uh, that looks like 3 to me. So maybe what I should have written was this is u minus v, or sorry, u, u dot v. u dot v is equal to this. We're taking u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2 plus u3 times vt, v3, and then we're just simplifying the, the numbers, and it just it comes out to 3. Um, so we'll, this maybe seems a little bit bizarre, but we'll see in the coming videos why this, this uh, dot product is really useful. See you then.